when Nation visited Joseph Boke in May at his grandmother's home in the border town of Sirare in Migori County, he was working at a friend's pub as a manager. He had a shred of hope that he would someday go back to university and complete his studies. He had dropped out of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in the year 2016 due to his inability to financially support his education. He always had one thing that kept him uneasy, the source of funds that would allow him to go back to college. Hello Kenyans and people from abroad. I'm called Boke Joseph Boke. Uh, my story was done uh, some three months ago by Nation. And I thank God uh, I got response. People were willing to help. I got several calls when the story was out. I couldn't sleep, but I was there to answer the calls. There are so many promises. People are promising to take me back to school. And that was so great. I'm very grateful. Uh, I've joined the University of Nairobi. I'm currently a student here pursuing my Bachelor of Education Arts in Business Studies and Mathematics. Uh, it has been my passion to be a teacher. So uh, my dream, I believe that is valid and uh, at least now you've helped me, I will uh, achieve my dreams in life. Uh, thanks so much uh, to people like uh, Professor Jacha Nyaigoti. Thanks so much to Dr. Nyamuhanga. Mwishimiwa Kitayama Maisori has promised that the CDF is coming in. It's very great. Uh, I think I received their check, uh, so things are good. I would also like to thank my mom who is at the UK, Mom Anne Kaguru. Thank you so much for being there for me. Uh, Joseph uh, Muita from Rwanda, thanks so much. I'm grateful to that. I also have Edna in help. She's making sure that everything goes on so that when I get the applications, all those things will go through. They keep checking on me. And there are so many Kenyans who are willing and ready to help. I also like to thank uh, maybe the administration through the dean. Uh, the assistant dean of uh, students. She has been there for me. She has been advising me when I got into her office. She has showed me the ways to do things. So many Kenyans were touched by his story and some decided to be part of his return to class. Most importantly is Elizabeth Wanyoike, a Kenyan pastor staying in the U.S. She has played to support Joseph Boke through school and take care of his upkeep my education, but she's my mom. I, I have now a mom. At least, uh, uh, mom, where you are, know that now I've found a mom. You've promised you are taking care of me. You are making sure that I don't go hungry. You are paying my school fees. You also make sure that when it rains, I can get some, uh, maybe a, guy, a vehicle to school. Thank you so much, and thanks so much. Be blessed abundantly. The promise that I can give you is that uh, I'm in school, and I promise you that I will work hard and achieve my dreams so that I don't fail. That is the uh, the only way that I can reward you for being part of my life. Grandma, we talk every now and again, she reminds me to call you and tell you that uh, she's very grateful to what you did and uh, in a special way she's waiting for a day that she'll come one-on-one uh, -on -one with you. Uh, she, she's saying she has a gift for you. Thank you all Kenyans. Thank you so much for taking me back to school and now I'm studying. I thank God uh, and promise to work go, uh, hard. I also have a promise that uh, if God helps I do what I can do, I'll be sponsored for the master's, so that is my target. The assistant dean of students at UN's College of Education, Dr. Pamela Lunjalu, shares about how they have to deal with such cases. She proposes that more effective policies should be formulated to take care of other more cases like this which are on the rise. University of Nairobi offers many opportunities, but these are still not enough for the rising cases of needy students. UN, however, offers bursaries and work-study opportunities for such students, says Dr. Lunjalu. Um, as a mother, birth pangs, the pain, the pain a mother goes through when um, uh, you come across a child who cannot... Uh, achieve what they wish to achieve. The pain comes because you're helpless, eh? you know, like I guess in this case, the helplessness. Um, this is a young man who, uh, who has a vision, a young man who has, you know, a future. But between now and the future, the obstacles. Okay, and they come to you and they present their case 
as an individual you are handicapped you may not have the resources to even uh, you know be able to assist and so there is desperation and there is helplessness in the first place and as a mother you're pained you're pained to see the, look at him i mean he's he's a bright young man <laughs> he's a bright young man and and you can see the zeal you can see the passion for education but the limitations are enormous actually from where i sit the university of nairobi offers um many opportunities to our students my experience is uh we've had uh, the office of the uh the dean of students uh, this is assistant dean of students the office of the dean of students uh where we present the needy cases and they are registered and given a serial number now we have bursaries we also have opportunities for work study so uh, what i can say the opportunities are there but the cases we have are more than the opportunities that are available and that is why we keep you know seeking support from beyond the university but the university is doing um, their best i i know that i worked with the dean of students and we've done the best for the students but you see we reach uh, we reach a level where our resources are outstretched and uh, the cases we have are more than the resources that we have. <laughs> Maria Mogosi, Joseph's grandmother, also could not hide her joy for what has happened to her grandson and thanked Kenyans and Pastor Wanyoike for helping Boke resume studies. <laughs> Mungu asiti kuvangezea nguvu. Nasikia vizuri baba. Eh. Nasikia vizuri. Kwa Kenya nitavanga kitu nitavarudisikia Mungu atabarutishia asante. Mungu avarutishia asante avapatia nguvu, nguvu nyingi wasukume maisha yao. Na ungependa kuambia nini Boke? Boke aendelee na sure 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 yake. Afanye kitu anataka afanye mtihani apata barupa ile ya kwa ya kwenda kasini. Eh. Maana hakuna watu wote walifungua masule sababu ya barupa hii ya kumaliza suleni. Walifungua walifungua manyumba mengi suleni. Watu wengi wanafunga masule kwa sababu ya barupa ya sukuli na mwalimu wenyewe hana barupa ile ya kufanyia kosi kwa malize. Wasali apata barupa ya kosi acha ukara na mani asome kwa bidii sitaki kutanga tanga mara iko hapa mara iko hapa a afanye kazi yake eh hiki tukimtoa ndani hapa hata naona sita tuko naye nyumbani hapa ni hii ni sitafutia mwenyewe chakula kila kitu na sitafutia mwenyewe eh sina mtu kunisaidia not so many people are always lucky to present any sort of an appeal that goes through Joseph Bok is now back at the university. This is after the nation successfully highlighted his story after he dropped out of JQuart due to poverty. Joseph was pursuing a curious science at JQuart. But most importantly is Louise Wanyoike. This is a Kenyan pastor who stays in the US. She has decided to pay all his tuition fees and upkeep during his stay at the University of Nairobi's College of Education in Kikuyu campus. So many eyes are on Joseph Boke now. The ball is in his court. Reporting for Nation Digital from Sirare in Migori County, I am Dickens Kichok.